it's estimated that about three out of four projects in the coatings world will fail due to improper surface preparation. So today we're going to cover a various topic of substrates or host substrates that you would apply Trichem products to. The first is going to be metal. The surface prep that's needed for metal is usually it, to remove any rust, a good wire brush uh, would work adequately, and then as soon as it's, uh, the, the rust is removed, to apply a coat of Trichem's DTM direct to metal primer as soon as the um, metal has been prepped with a wire brush. The second surface is wood. Wood presents a couple different challenges. Typically wood is very flexible and coatings that are applied is very rigid. So what we need to do on a, on a wood floor surface is to make sure that the wood is screwed down um, and so that you've got a, a very rigid substrate. The second challenge with wood is the porosity. It will typically accept more coating or more liquid, so it needs to be primed um, and then the coating applied afterwards. A lot like wood, drywall is very porous. So in order to go over drywall, we need to have a primer applied to it so that you don't lose all of your product into the gypsum of the drywall. The next substrate uh, becoming more common is ceramic and quarry tile especially with the 144 sealer product. Those, those surfaces are very hard, very dense surfaces. Um, you can use a diamond grinder to achieve a profile, but even in some instances, you can use a black uh, diamond impregnated pad to put a micro abrasion onto those surfaces. Once the prep is done, those areas then need to be tack wiped with a wet rag to make sure that the micro abrasions are completely cleaned out and it gives a good bond profile for the coating to be accepted into. And last, by far the most common, is, is concrete. Typically, we need to have the concrete profiled. Um, the International Concrete Repair Institute has released what they call CSP profiles, that is concrete surface profile. Um, those profiles run from a number one up through a number nine. And basically, what that will show you on the diagram is the depth of the bond profile. For something that's a very thin film coating or a sealer, we would look for a CSP1, maybe a CSP2. If we're going with a quarter inch trowel down system, we would probably look at a CSP4 or a CSP5. Those are achieved by either shop blasting or by using a diamond grinder.